Alright, hello guys, welcome to this video, the new computer is here and I've moved over all the files, gotten the editing software on here, and it all looks good now. Uh, it took me quite a few days to get everything set up, but finally I think I have it to a point where uh, I can go ahead and make videos for you guys on the new computer. We're going to be looking at a possible cooldown that's going to be going on during this later portion of this week into Sunday, where I think it'll start to warm up again. But for the central and eastern United States, it should be cold before that point, so we're going to talk about that. Now, looking at the 500 millibar geopotential height, this is kind of how we see troughs and ridges. You can see there's a ridge in the western United States, and we're starting to see a trough there for the central United States. We're going to go ahead and move on to Thursday here, and you can see we're starting to see that trough deepen into the Central and Great Lakes regions of the United States, into Illinois, uh, Missouri, Iowa, Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas, areas like that. We're seeing this trough start to really deepen. We're going to move on to Friday, and you can see it has moved east into Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, areas like that. We're starting to see it move eastward. And then by later on Friday, we're starting to see it retreat back north into the New England, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey areas. Areas like that is where the trough is really located. And then by Sunday, you can see it really evens out and we see a southeast ridge even. So we should see it warm back up for the eastern United States by this point. Now we're going to be looking at your temperature anomalies here for these days. You can see right now we're having slightly below average temperatures basically for all of the central and eastern United States by this point. But if we move on to Thursday, you can see a lot of those purples and pinks start to show up. And I want you to take note of that bar on the very right side of your screen. You can see that's 8 to 16 degrees below average and the purples and pinks are even colder. So very, very cold temperatures there. And that is Celsius as well. So it's, it's even colder. So really, we're going to be seeing a lot of these colder temperatures as we head into the late week, like I said. And we're going to move on one more frame. And you can see we're starting to see a lot of those pinks show up there. Uh, which again is even colder, 16 degrees below average or more for a lot of these areas later by Thursday. Then by Friday, you can see it's starting to move eastward a little bit, starting to weaken a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of those purples there for the central eastern United States. And if we move on to Saturday, you can see it's really starting to weaken and move further east. A lot of the central United States is warming up by this point, but we still have a little bit of cold left over. Uh, but as we move on one more to Sunday, you can see the warm does return to the eastern United States and the southeastern United States by this point, and the cold should be over at least for a little while by Sunday. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're excited that the new computer got here. There's going to be a lot more uploads coming you guys' way. The, the time for uh, processing the videos that I edit are going to be a lot faster, so it's going to be a lot easier to upload a lot more video videos for you guys, and I'm very excited about that. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.